Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we have a rather quick tutorial and we're gonna be creating a 3D building here in After Effects. Basically like a sort of, I guess, a cartoon 2D styled building that will be created in 3D space in After Effects. So there are no plugins and it's kind of easy to do this, but I think it's very important to be able to know how to create a 3D building or some sort of 3D object in After Effects just using the basic elements. So as you can see, we can kind of rotate around the building here. You know, we have a roof, you know, we also have the floor so we can't see through it. And, you know, this is kind of uh, the short concept of being able to create, like I say, a 3D city or, you know, whatever, maybe more advanced 3D object. But this is going to be a great tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw out like a rectangle, you know, like this for the front of our building. And I'll call this one uh, front, this layer front. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to like white or so. Maybe to like a light gray like that. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure I have that shape layer selected. And then we'll go back to the rectangle tool here. And I'm going to just draw out like a window, kind of like this. And we're going to go ahead and change that color to maybe like a light blue or something for, you know, to show the window. Maybe that'll be a little bit darker, who knows. But um, yeah, once we have that done, what we want to do is kind of open up rectangle two here and go to add and add a repeater. And what we'll do is we'll kind of increase maybe the number of copies to four and we'll go to the transform properties for repeater one and we'll go ahead and increase the X position right here. So we kind of add some depth in the windows here, some spacing. And then what we'll do is um, go make sure rectangle two is selected again, go to add and we'll add another repeater and we'll make sure repeater two is above repeater one here and we'll go ahead and open up repeater two. And uh, what we'll do is go into the transform for repeater two and we'll go ahead and set the X position to zero and we'll go ahead and increase the Y. So kind of like this. And then maybe we're gonna set the number of copies to four, maybe five. And then, you know, what we can do is maybe close this up and then maybe what we'll do is go into transform for rectangle two. Maybe we'll go ahead and move this all up. Maybe I'll go ahead and select the main rectangle here, go into its transform settings and maybe we'll, you know, disconnect the scale and maybe we'll scale it just up a little bit so we have a little bit of room there. So that looks pretty cool. We've created the front of our building and what I'm gonna do before we start uh, making this thing 3D is I'm gonna go to the pan behind tool here and I'm gonna grab our anchor point and I'm gonna try to put this in the corner right here. And if you have snapping enabled, uh, you'll be able to kind of just snap that into the corner here with the pan behind tool. So yeah, so that should be good and that should definitely help us be able to kind of get this into position. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this a 3D layer right here. If you don't see the uh, 3D layer button here, go ahead and just toggle your switches and modes until you see it. And then when we're ready, we'll go ahead and uh, duplicate this layer by hitting Command D on our keyboard on a Mac or Control D on a PC or go up to Edit, Duplicate. And now we have two copies here. Maybe I'll call this one Right. And what we're going to do now is go up to Layer, New, Camera. And that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and maybe uh, duplicate the camera as well. So we have two cameras here. And then we're going to go ahead and select our right layer here and we're going to hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we'll go to Y rotation and we'll set this to 90 degrees. And if we go ahead and say go to our active camera here and we click on camera 2 and we go to our camera tools up the top here and we select the orbit camera tool. As you see if we rotate here we have this basically perfectly snapped in place. Another way to take a look at this is to go to uh, our top view. So if we zoom in here, as you can see, the corner is perfectly aligned and looks really good. So we have perfection there. So if we go back to like, and we'll keep it at this view. What we'll do now is we'll select both these layers here. We'll duplicate them. And uh, let's go ahead and rotate this again. Maybe we'll just kind of increase the rotation to like 180. Boom. And then what we'll do now is just hit P on our keyboard, bring up position, and we'll just like bring this over here. So it kind of like snaps into place there. Boom. And then we'll hit R on the keyboard again for rotation and maybe we'll rotate it just a little bit more. I probably should have went to 270. And we'll move the Z position up to kind of close this up into a perfect uh, square just like this. And we zoom in here and it's pretty close. Uh, it's not 100% touching each other. So what we'll do is select both of the layers again. And we'll just go ahead and uh, mess with the Z position until we get it in the right spot. Maybe the X position now. Maybe we'll just use the arrow keys. And I'm just using the arrow keys to kind of get locked this into place. And 
as you can see, is pretty much locked into place in the other corner. It's just going to be just fine. So what we'll do now is we'll go to our camera two here. I'll zoom out and we kind of rotate around our building. As you can see, it's basically perfectly matched. And now we have a 3D building. So let's say if we want to create the roof and like the floor, just so we don't see it. if you want to rotate, you know, around the building, what we'll do is I'll just go ahead and duplicate the front layer here and I'll call this one uh, floor and we'll open up that contents and we'll delete the rectangle too. So we, don't, we can delete the windows. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll change the color of the fill to be a little bit dark gray. And then we'll hit R on our keyboard, bring up rotation. And we'll change the X rotation to like 90 degrees. And if we go to the bottom uh, camera view, we can see the bottom of our building here since this is the floor. Let me turn this off real fast. Okay, so basically we need to move this over to right over here. So what I'll do is just hit P on our keyboard for position and We'll use the Z value to kind of get us right into this correct spot. Which would be like right there. And then we need to kind of close this up. So I'll just hit S on keyboard for scale, break the link. And we'll just kind of close this up just like this until it's perfectly in its like inside the box of our building. And still not 100% perfect. So I'll just use the arrow keys to get that in there. And you know, for the most part, is looking pretty good. We, we did a pretty good job. Maybe this needs to be like 72.5. And if I go back to camera two here, and we can kind of see what we got, and see we can see the floor of the building here, and then if we, what we can do now is kind of like duplicate the floor. We'll call this one the roof. Now what we'll do is I'll kind of like rotate to the top of the building here, kind of like this, and then we'll go to the position for roof, and we'll kind of just use the Y position to move this up until like the top of our building, so maybe like that. So now we kind of have a 3D building that we can rotate around, um, and I think it was a really cool tutorial. It is kind of a flat, uh, cartoony sort of style, but if you need to put together a uh, sort of a 3D scene, this is way this is one way you can do it. There's not a lot of detail into this, and I'm definitely gonna expand on creating a lot of detail in uh, you know this sort of uh, style. So if you're not subscribed to the channel yet please consider subscribing for more tutorials just like this. And if you guys have any questions, please hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And uh, if you guys enjoy the video, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.